The title is 2035. The age of dead science having prevailed, the arts and imagination deemed illegal, metaphysics reduced to cartoons, Jesus as Roadrunner, Buddha as the fat man, <laughs> the government enforces the death penalty for shoplifting, there's little crime, abortion's mandatory except for genetically certified breeders for each specific skill set. The president's called Big Daddy and heads up the World Council. Einstein's been erased from history for touting the imagination. Clean water no longer exists. Giant water machines pump through pipes and glass bottled water to drink. <laughs> Process prevails without variables. One mundane thought in front of another. Hurricanes are now category 10's the norm. Coastal property set back a mile, the air's ashen. The last great problem before the World Council, now that energy has been purchased from the Azuras forever, is how to tame the weather. <laughs> the Sibyls dwell inside it, moody, shifting fault lines, moving the winds, tossing lightning, and the prophets meet pirates, bears, poets, planning revolution at the Rebel Cafe. It's, it's, a, it's a poem that oddly gets more acute as we move in time. Gets cuter. Gets cuter as it gets yeah, older. Yeah, the backstory <laughs> is I was thinking of doing a futuristic novel. I spent three days thinking about characters, setting scenes what to do. I went to the grocery store, had sort of a wit manic uh, infusion, ran home, sat down, wrote this in about 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Saved myself. Inspi anyway. Inspired. Yeah, I saved myself from three to 20 years. Says, I ain't got enough material here to blow the roof off this fucking building. <laughs> that was it.